Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, is a beautiful and vibrant city that is known for its rich history, beautiful architecture, and friendly people. There are countless things to see and do in Copenhagen, but here are the top things to check out while you're in the city. Nyhavn Nyhavn is a historic waterfront district located in the heart of Copenhagen. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city and is known for its colorful buildings, picturesque canal, and lively atmosphere. Nyhavn was originally a busy commercial port, with ships from all over the world arriving to unload their cargo. Over time, the area fell into disrepair, but in the 1960s, it was revitalized and transformed into a popular tourist destination. Today, Nyhavn is a charming mix of historic buildings, restaurants, bars, and shops. The buildings in the district are some of the most colorful and picturesque in Copenhagen. They are mostly 18th century townhouses, many of which have been beautifully restored. The facades of the buildings are painted in shades of yellow, orange, pink, and red, making for a stunning photo opportunity. The canal that runs is also very picturesque, with historic ships and boats moored along the quayside. Nyhavn is a great place to explore, with plenty of things to see and do. You can take a boat tour of the canal, rent a bike and cycle along the waterfront, or simply wander the streets and admire the architecture. This place is also known for its vibrant cultural scene. The area has been home to many famous artists and writers over the years, including Hans Christian Andersen, who wrote several of his fairy tales while living in Nyhavn. Nyhavn is easily accessible by foot, bike, or public transport. It's located in the heart of Copenhagen, and there are several metro and bus stops nearby. The area can be crowded with tourists, especially in the summer, so it's best to visit early in the morning or later in the evening to avoid the crowds. Christiansborg Palace Christiansborg Palace is a historic palace located on the small island of Slotsholmen. Its history dates back to the 12th century when Bishop Absalon built a castle on the site. The castle was later replaced by a palace that served as the residence of the Danish monarchs for many centuries until it was destroyed by fire in 1794. The current palace was completed in 1928 and features a blend of architectural styles, including Baroque and Neoclassical. Today, Christiansborg Palace serves as the official residence of the Danish monarchy and houses the Danish parliament, the Supreme Court, and the Prime Minister's office. One of the unique features of Christiansborg Palace is that it is the only palace in the world that has all three branches of government under one roof. This reflects the important role that the palace has played in Danish history and politics. Visitors to Christiansborg Palace can take guided tours of the palace and explore the royal reception rooms, the Great Hall, the royal stables, and the ruins of the Bishop's Palace. There is also an underground exhibition that tells the story of the palace's history and the Danish monarchy. The palace has an impressive collection of royal artifacts, including portraits of Danish monarchs, royal jewelry, and the Danish crown regalia. Rosenborg Castle, also known as Rosenborg Slot, was constructed in the early 17th century under the patronage of King Christian IV. It initially served as a summer retreat for the Danish royal family before being transformed into a museum. The castle exemplifies the Dutch Renaissance architectural style, characterized by its ornate facade, copper-covered roof adorned with spires and towers, and intricate decorative elements. Inside Rosenborg Castle, Visitors have the opportunity to explore the well-preserved royal apartments that were once inhabited by Danish monarchs. These opulently decorated rooms, such as the King's Bedroom, Queen's Chamber, and Audience Chamber, provide a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle of the royal family. The castle's royal treasury is a major attraction, housing an impressive collection of regalia and artifacts associated with Danish royalty. Among the most notable exhibits are the Danish crown jewels, including crowns, scepters, orbs, and other symbols of power. 
These priceless treasures showcase remarkable craftsmanship and historical significance. Surrounding Rosenborg Castle is the Enchanting King's Garden, Kangens Have, a meticulously manicured park that offers a serene escape from the bustling city. With its lush green lawns, meandering pathways, colorful flower beds, and tranquil water features, the garden provides a picturesque setting for relaxation and leisurely strolls. A highlight for visitors is witnessing the daily changing of the guard ceremony, where uniformed guards march from the nearby Rosenborg barracks to the castle, showcasing military precision and tradition. Throughout the year, Rosenborg Castle hosts a range of temporary exhibitions and cultural events that delve into various aspects of Danish history, culture, and art. These exhibits provide further insights and enrich the visitor experience, offering a deeper understanding of Denmark's heritage. Castellet, also known as the Citadel, is a well-preserved fortress. It was constructed during the 17th century under the rule of King Christian IV, who aimed to fortify the city against potential attacks. The fortress boasts an intriguing star-shaped design that sets it apart architecturally. Its five bastions, named after Danish cities, Frederikshavn, Maan, Dronningens, Princessens, and Kings, radiate from a central courtyard. Castellet's construction was a testament to military engineering of the time, featuring defensive elements designed to withstand sieges and assaults. The fortress encompasses sturdy walls, earthwork ramparts, and a deep moat encircling the complex. These features, along with its strategic location, ensured the protection of Copenhagen and its harbor. Within Castellet, visitors can explore various landmarks and structures. St. Albans Church, an Anglican church constructed in the English Gothic Revival style, adds to the allure of the fortress with its striking architecture. The Commander's House, a notable building within the complex, serves as the residence for the Commander of Castellet. Today, Castellet is not only a historical site, but also a public park that offers an idyllic retreat. Its green spaces, grassy lawns, and well-maintained paths provide opportunities for leisurely walks, picnics, and relaxation. The fortress's surroundings offer panoramic views of the city and waterfront, adding to its appeal as a peaceful oasis amidst the urban landscape. Castellet carries significant cultural and historical significance for Denmark. It has been involved in various military conflicts over the centuries, including the Napoleonic Wars and World War II. Despite its defensive nature, the fortress stands as a symbol of Danish heritage and resilience. Throughout the year, Castellet hosts a range of events and activities. These include concerts, cultural festivals, and military ceremonies, which add vibrancy to the historical setting and allow visitors to experience the fortress's ambience and historical significance firsthand. Amelienborg Palace Amelienborg Palace is a royal palace. It is the official residence of the Danish royal family and has been so since 1794. The palace is comprised of four identical buildings, which surround a central courtyard and are collectively known as Amelienborg Slotsplads. The palace was originally built in the 1700s for four noble families, but it became the royal residence when the previous palace was destroyed in a fire. The palace was designed by the architect Nikolai Aigft and features a combination of Rococo and Baroque architecture. Each of the four buildings in Amelienborg Palace is named after a different Danish monarch, Christian VII, Christian VIII, Frederick VIII, and Christian IX. The buildings are identical in design, and they are connected by a series of underground tunnels. The central courtyard of Amelienborg Palace is open to the public, and visitors can see the changing of the guard ceremony that takes place every day at noon. The ceremony is a popular attraction, and it features guards marching to the accompaniment of a military band. Inside the palace, visitors can explore the royal reception rooms, which are used for official state functions and are richly decorated with tapestries, paintings, and furniture from the 1700s and 1800s. 
The palace also houses a museum that showcases the history of the Danish royal family with exhibits that include paintings, portraits, and memorabilia. A Millionborg Palace is situated in a prime location in Copenhagen, near several other notable attractions such as the Frederick's Church and the Marble Church. It is also located near the waterfront, providing visitors with stunning views of the harbor. The Little Mermaid The Little Mermaid is a famous bronze statue. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city and has become an iconic symbol of Copenhagen. The statue was created by sculptor Edward Erickson and was unveiled in 1913. The statue is based on the fairy tale of the same name by Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. It depicts a mermaid sitting on a rock by the water's edge in the harbor of Copenhagen. The statue is approximately 1.25 meters tall and weighs 175 kilograms. The Little Mermaid is a fairy tale written by Hans Christian Andersen in 1837. The story tells of a young mermaid who falls in love with a human prince and makes a deal with a sea witch to trade her tail for legs so she can live on land and be with him. The prince, however, falls in love with another woman, and the mermaid is left heartbroken. In the end, she turns into sea foam and dies. The fairy tale has been adapted into numerous films, stage productions, and other works of art. It's a popular and beloved story that has captured the hearts of people around the world. The Little Mermaid statue is located in the harbor of Copenhagen and is easily accessible by foot or bike. There are also boat tours that pass by the statue. The area around the statue can get crowded with tourists, so it's best to visit early in the morning or later in the evening to avoid the crowds. The statue has been the target of vandalism and theft several times over the years, so it's now protected and monitored by security cameras. Visitors are not allowed to climb on the statue or touch it. The Copenhagen Opera House, also known as the Royal Danish Opera, is a stunning architectural gem located on the island of Holmen in Copenhagen, Denmark. Designed by Henning Larsen, the Opera House opened its doors in 2005 and quickly became an iconic symbol of Danish culture. With its sleek modern design and waterfront location, it offers a breathtaking venue for world-class opera, ballet, and musical performances, attracting both local and international audiences. The Opera House is known for its exceptional acoustics and state-of-the-art facilities, making it a must-visit destination for art and music enthusiasts visiting Copenhagen. The Botanical Garden The Botanical Garden in Copenhagen is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. It is a large garden that is home to a diverse collection of plants from all over the world. The garden is located in the heart of the city, making it easily accessible to visitors. The botanical garden was founded in 1600 and is one of the oldest botanical gardens in the world. It was originally established as a medicinal garden for the University of Copenhagen, and it has since expanded to become one of the largest botanical gardens in Europe. The garden is spread over 10 hectares and contains over 13,000 plant species, including many rare and exotic plants. The garden is divided into several sections, each dedicated to a different type of plant or habitat. Visitors can explore sections dedicated to roses, herbs, vegetables, and trees, among others. One of the highlights of the botanical garden is its collection of greenhouses, which house plants from tropical and subtropical regions. The greenhouses are home to plants such as orchids, cacti, and palms, and they provide visitors with a glimpse into the diverse plant life of these regions. The botanical garden is also home to several historic buildings, including a 19th century glass house and a small museum that showcases the history of the garden and its collection. The garden is open to the public year-round, and admission is free. Visitors can explore the garden on their own or take a guided tour to learn more about the different plants and habitats. The garden also hosts several events throughout the year, including plant sales, concerts, and exhibitions. 
Copenhagen is renowned for its bicycle-friendly environment, with cycling deeply ingrained in the city's culture. The city boasts a well-maintained network of bicycle lanes and paths, providing safe and convenient routes for cyclists. Visitors can easily rent bicycles from various shops and explore the city's streets and attractions. Cycling is an integral part of daily life in Copenhagen, with people of all ages using bikes for commuting and leisure. The city's flat terrain and strong cycling culture make it an ideal place for bicycle riding. Copenhagen prioritizes cyclist safety through dedicated infrastructure and strict traffic regulations. Cycling allows for a unique way to sightsee and experience the city, from riding along the waterfront to exploring neighborhoods and famous landmarks. The city also hosts cycling events throughout the year, catering to different levels of riders. Choosing to cycle in Copenhagen contributes to a greener and more sustainable lifestyle, aligning with the city's commitment to environmental consciousness. Bicycling in Copenhagen offers a fun, accessible, and eco-friendly way to explore the city's charm and vibrant atmosphere. Copenhagen Airport, also known as Kastrup Airport, is the largest international airport in Denmark and serves as a major transportation hub for the Nordic region. Located just 8 kilometers from the city center, it offers convenient access to Copenhagen and its surrounding areas. The airport is renowned for its modern facilities, efficient operations, and excellent passenger services, ensuring a smooth and comfortable travel experience. With a wide range of domestic and international flights, Copenhagen Airport connects travelers to destinations across the globe, making it a vital gateway for both business and leisure travel. Tivoli Gardens Tivoli Gardens was opened in 1843 and was the brainchild of George Carstensen, who was inspired by the parks he saw during his travels in Europe. The park was an instant success and quickly became a popular destination for both locals and tourists. Over the years, Tivoli has expanded and undergone several renovations, but it still retains its original charm and appeal. There are over 40 rides, including roller coasters, carousels, and ferris wheels. The park is known for its classic wooden roller coaster, Rechebanen, which was built in 1914 and is still in operation today. The park also has a wide range of other attractions, including a beautiful garden, a lake, a pantomime theater, and an aquarium. Tivoli Gardens has a wide range of dining options, from fast food to fine dining. The park is known for its traditional Danish cuisine, such as smorbrod, open-faced sandwiches, hot dogs, and Danish pastries. There are also international options available, including sushi, pizza, and burgers. Admission to Tivoli Gardens is not cheap, but it includes access to all of the park's attractions. There are discounts available for children, seniors, and students, and you can also purchase a multi-day pass. The park is open from mid-April to late September and during the holiday season. Christiania Christiania is a self-governing neighborhood established in 1971 by a group of hippies who occupied abandoned military barracks. The community is known for its alternative lifestyle, handmade houses, alternative forms of energy and transportation, and its own flag, currency, and set of rules and regulations. Pusher Street is a popular attraction in Christiania, known for its open-air cannabis market. Although the sale and consumption of cannabis are illegal under Danish law, they are tolerated in Christiania. The community has had a tumultuous relationship with the Danish government over the years, but has survived and thrived due to its strong sense of community and resistance to authority. Christiania is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world who are curious about its alternative lifestyle and counterculture vibe. It is home to several art galleries, music venues, and performance spaces, making it a vibrant cultural hub in Copenhagen. Despite its controversies, Christiania has become an important symbol of freedom and rebellion, inspiring similar communities and movements around the world. 
Exploring Copenhagen is an enriching experience that combines history, culture, and picturesque landscapes. The Danish capital offers a blend of modern architecture and centuries-old charm, creating a unique atmosphere that captivates visitors. From strolling along the colorful houses of Nyham to admiring the iconic Little Mermaid statue, there is no shortage of iconic landmarks to discover. Immerse yourself in Danish history by visiting the impressive Christiansborg Palace or the historic Rosenborg Castle. Explore the vibrant neighborhoods of Vesterbro, Noribro, and Osterbro, each with its distinct character, trendy shops, and cozy cafes. Don't miss the opportunity to cycle around the city, as Copenhagen is renowned for its bike-friendly infrastructure. Indulge in Danish cuisine by trying traditional dishes like smorbrod and Danish pastries, and explore the thriving food scene in areas like Torfhallen and Paper Island. Lastly, embrace the Huga lifestyle by enjoying the cozy atmosphere in the city's many cafes, parks, and waterfront areas. With its blend of history, culture, and Scandinavian charm, Copenhagen offers a truly memorable experience for every traveler.